Hi, I'm JC, the MP. Welcome to another video. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about I'm a new MP. I got my first job, got my contract done. Now what? Okay, so <clears throat> this is a pretty, pretty fun topic. Take your time. Get to know your patients. Get to know your practice. Learn the EMR or the paper charting. Hell, if you're still using paper charting. But you have to learn the systems, too, because not only do you have to learn how you practice, you have to learn to practice as well. So we've been in a apprenticeship model, which is what our training is. And now you've moved from apprentice to <clears throat> journeyman, essentially. And it's going to take you six to 18 months to figure out not only how to practice, but how you practice. So learning how you respond to things, how you're going to address things, how you're going to educate how you're going to take that information and, and give it to your patients, how you're going to ensure that your patients are getting the appropriate treatment, the appropriate therapy, how much time it takes you to document. This is a key problem that we <clears throat> in our profession typically have is how do you document? What do you document? How long do you document? How much information do I need to put in there? Do I need to spend 40 minutes on each chart documenting? Those kinds of things, once you get more used to your style, of practice is it, that, that all becomes a lot easier and it just takes time now the more specialized your practice is generally the shorter amount of time that takes for instance if you're doing orthopedics and only at left ankles it's going to be pretty quick to get everything you need out of that so your, your time to moving from journeyman to expert is going to be shorter okay it's okay Take a deep breath. If you're taking charts home, it's okay, but we don't want to make that a chronic issue. We want to make sure that we are not taking charts home if we can avoid it. We want to make sure that we are taking care of everything we can while we're in the office, right? All these things matter because it's going to affect your long-term job satisfaction, Okay, if you're taking charts home every night and spending two, three hours at home charting instead of be hanging out with your kids or your spouse or whatever, or if you're single going out and hanging out with your friends or doing whatever, it's going to reduce your job satisfaction. If you don't have job satisfaction, it's really going to affect your lifestyle, and that's going to affect what you do. It's going to affect how you take care of your patients. So we have to make sure that we are learning and progressing once we get out as well. And it's okay that it takes a while. It's okay that it takes a while. It's okay that it takes a while for this to happen. This is not an instant thing. It's not, I graduated Tuesday on Wednesday, I'm an expert. That's not how it works. So if we understand that there's a journeyman step, then we'll understand that we can make that step without quite as much stress or fear. So when you're new, relax, take a deep breath, take one thing at a time, one patient at a time, Handle one thing at a time. That's all you can do anyways. So fix that one thing, then move on. The practice is going to, win, going to want you seeing as many patients as possible, as fast as possible. But you have to make sure that you ramp up. It's not an instant thing, <clears throat> unless you have experience. If you have experience, it's not really a big deal. It's just a matter of getting used to the new MR, EMR. But as a new grad, it takes time for you to ramp up because not only do you have to learn how you practice, you have to learn how to practice, and you have to learn how your if you're in a supervised area, how your supervisor practice to make sure you're all in line and to make sure the culture of the practice environment is good. Because if you're doing one thing, your doc's doing another, and a third person's doing another thing, then it definitely makes the practice environment difficult for the staff and difficult for the patients. But, well, I saw Dr. Smith last week, and he didn't do that. He doesn't make me do that. Why are you making me do that? You know, it, it, the culture matters, too. So all those things matter, and it was a good question. Uh, if you have any other questions, hit me up. You know the drill, jcdmp at yahoo.com, and y'all have a good day.